inner triangle, that's pretty much wherever I set my car keys down. <laughs> Seriously, guys, I can't remember ten seconds ago, and I always smell ammonia. Tell the captain there's something in the water. Tell him to stop the boat. I'd do it, but I'm not hot. Hey, someone's nights just got a lot less lonely. <laughs> Precisely 3.15 p.m., the radio operator at Fort Lauderdale's control tower received a strange message. It said, ha ha, you live in Fort Lauderdale. This is crazy. I can't see the water now. And I think my co-pilot's getting a boner. The ocean has gone all white. My God, what's this? A ball of fire suspended in the very sky itself? I've never seen a doll like this before. Where's its mustache? It's very strange. Great, a creepy doll. What a boring, worn-out cliche. You know, these filmmakers should really be a sh so proud of themselves. They are truly the world's greatest visionaries. Beautiful. Yes. Well, I'm the navigator. I'm the radio operator. I'm the resident boobs ignorer. On this boat, you have to be able to do everything. I'd just like to be the captain. Young Billy Crunch was an ambitious lad. It's great, Dad. I can't wait to try it. Dad, tell me again what the Van Buren administration was like. Man, I can't believe the Puma Man fired me just because I used his magic belt to pick up chicks. Gordon, we've cruised these waters about 50 times since you've joined us. With me growing more Barry Gibb-like with every trip. Please buy us a computer. Sincerely, the Navy. Captain, reporting commercial flight 57 lost. A super constellation with 42 persons aboard, including five crew. They were supposed to deliver our lunch, sir. Now it's quite soggy, if not lost altogether. Dead guy at the helm. Keep up the good work. Captain, the majority of those missing are family members of naval personnel, sir. Dan, really, still, if you're gay. Ha! <laughs> gotcha, Johnson. Form between... Where did you put my sissic pills? I need my oh, sissic pills so I don't throw it you. <laughs> Forget all that. Why torment yourself? You know you were brilliant. Those gong show judges were biased. <laughs> that fool of my half-brother only thinks of finding lost cities out there. And you're telling me what he says. And Lisa looks so sexy, Danny. Is the Northern Star. She's a faithful companion of all seamen. I know that word. Because she always shows us the north and helps to guide us safely to port. Then it's hooker time. That's it. I'm kicking booze, cold turkey, and getting a fresh start. From here in, oh, hey, a bar. I'll have eight whiskeys. It's Atlantic Coast off the United States. Vacation is fun. We are in paradise, living our dream. The feast has been prepared for us. Let us bask in its opulence. Most of me is out there in the Bermuda Triangle. Well, I know what's out there. What? 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 Oh, Lordy, what? And they attributed the disappearance of vessels to hurricanes, pirates, or frightening sea monsters. Of course, that's nonsense. The sea monsters weren't frightening, they were sexy. What a shame, you're spoiling a perfectly spooky trip. Sorry for putting a damper on your fun. Ah, sudden onset pandemic. Death by Polly wanting a cracker. Idiot, just grab a coat hanger. Ah, it's a shame. We never got to teach it to say racist names for Koreans. <laughs> all right, calm down. It's all over now. Well, let's go back to this whole dad thing. Give her some water. You know I'm 80, right? Darkness! Oh, God, it can only be the Bermuda Triangle! Help! Help! Oh, wait, I just hit the switch with my elbow. Ah, the happy whistle of a character who knows he's going to live through the whole movie. Who's there? It's Dave, Simon. The most unnatural oh human God, interaction in the history of the universe. Out of me, boy. Gordon? Yes, Captain. Full speed ahead. Full speed ahead. Okay, Captain. Full speed ahead. I'll make it go faster. It's strange. What strange, Captain? The radar doesn't show anything. It's all reruns. What's going on, Captain Briggs? Can a doofy golf hat help at all? What's happening, Dad? 
It seems the ship is signaling us. We're going to approach it. Do you think they need help? I don't know, son. I suppose so. This is chilling. This scene? Oh, no, sorry. I was talking about this Bacardi Breezer I put on ice about three minutes ago. It's chilling, but it's not where I like it yet. Any sign? That you'll shave, I mean? Even his eyes have beards. I think those are eyebrows. Eye beards, exactly. Mark. Or rather, I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> Starboard! Here she comes. Got a quick knock back some wife tolerating juice. Sadly, that was the most intimate moment of their marriage. Yeah, smokers! Costner drinking his own pee! My boat! Damn, this movie's triggering another one of Bill's Waterworld flashbacks! His horrible gills! <laughs> better? Yes, Kevin, th thanks for letting me slap you. I do feel better. Ow! Sir, we're continuing on our course. And we'll soon be arriving in the area that you want to explore. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have facial hair to grow. Over. Listen, Mr. Marvin, I know last night the whole thing was frightening. But I, I was terrified. Respect its secrets. Don't provoke its wrath. Gotta say, that Speedo of yours is doing some pretty strong wrath provoking. I must confess that I almost decided not to make this flight when I found out the pilot was a woman. Also, you're not a gypsy, worry, are you? Sir. I'm fully licensed. In shopping, boys, and Pinterest, that is. Peter Diving? Are you kidding? If he swallows some water without whiskey, he would definitely die. He suffers from crippling alcoholism. <laughs> <laughs> take Peter along as a shark repellent. Not even they would take you. <laughs> I hate my husband more than the devil. <laughs> Dear sister-in-law, but I can already see your brave and courageous husband floating like a toad into the mouth of a shark. Hmm. Went back to the shark humor. Hey, it's Poor played, animal. man. He would die of indigestion. <laughs> wow, this movie's taking a turn for the bitter. Almost tough to watch. This is the greatest movie I have ever seen. Oh, what I would not give for a glass of that tank. The radar is working perfectly now. There's a point on the screen that looks like a small aircraft. But it's really a mustard seed from when I sneezed earlier. I started using a diving bell, but I'll give this newfangled scuba thing the old college try. Ah, underwater scenes. If there's a better way to spend more time and effort creating something that no one likes, I have yet to hear it. Oh, sorry guys, we gotta go back up. I just thought of another great burn for the old alcoholic guy. <laughs> really withering, it'll just kill him. I hope he gets back on land in time for his weekly poker game with Amos, Andy, and the guy from the Zatarain's box. Yeah, keep it shut, would you? I'm not paying to cool the entire friggin' triangle. I don't know, gang, if the lost city of Atlantis was really ten feet below the surface, seems like somebody might have found it by now. <laughs> what the devil are you doing there? When this floor looks completely unmopped. Thank you. You saved my life. The door closed on me. What a fright. Based on the racism, this oh movie God, was made pre-Abraham Lincoln, so right? This child is a devil. I wish my old friend Huck was here to help. <laughs> Finally, a movie that does for aimless scuba diving what Birdemic did for gradual driving and parking. And up ahead, you'll see where SpongeBob and Patrick used to perform ritual sacrifices of the snorks. I'm not sure about that. Look, I'm running out of underwater stuff to say, okay? Well, it's good to see the inanimate objects step up and do something interesting since no one else will. Wait a minute, they swam for like 400 hours, but they were still right underneath the boat? Eh, they took the long way around. Get me another tank, a full one. I'm not filled with easy cheese this time, you bunch of jokers. <laughs> Carl's death was pretty horrible, but it was funny. Simon, take the helm. Ten degrees of starboard. Me? Yes, you. You're the only insensitive caricature for the job. Okay. 
gotta tie this knot. Hope I can remember what my scoutmaster taught me. Let's see. Don't worry, my wife won't be home until six. No, no, that was about something else. Her leg served in a homemade marinara. I hope this floating tub of yours has the necessary first aid, my friend. See, because he's a drinker, and you won't believe it unless you see him drinking in literally every single scene. What do you need? First of all, an anesthetic. Or some sleeping pills. Anything to kill the pain. And for her, I don't know, a rag to muffle her screams, I guess. Just calming her nerves after she realized she's wearing a Homer Simpson fat guy moo moo. And Bimini is the nearest island. Forget about the ship. She can't be saved. She could die any moment now. What in the devil are you saying? She might die. Is the beard somehow blocking your ears now? Look like. If only Thepu Maimon was here to save us. <laughs> There's got to be more denim around here somewhere. How's Michelle? She's still unconscious, but her breathing is better. And still way out of your league. Diane, leave that doll alone. Get back to your bed immediately. Yes, great grandfather, or daddy. And at what time have you calculated our sinking, my dear friend? He's talking to his rocks glass, actually. But what are you worried about? You're already drowned in liquor. The only comeback to that gem is a straight-on projectile vomit in the face. Stop throwing wet actors at us. I don't want to nitpick, but it seemed like she fell farther into the boat. (laughs) Guys, this has just moved into my top five all-time winch securing scenes. Flares every ten minutes so that we can get back. Okay. Tony, nobody said abandoned pants. Let's go. And so we bid farewell to one of Academy Award winner John Huston's most memorable patrons. Characters. Characters. What the hell? Juice box. Now. <laughs> Mom, my doll wants to know if you'd give the devil just five minutes of your time to just hear him out. Tell Jaja Binks he discuss even me. I need a drink. Wait, this guy drinks? Uh, I, uh, Either she's dying or indecently turned on. Uh, 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 what? Uh, Are you done? Uh, 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 Would you please stop that? Dave. Quit groping me. If I should also die, take care of Billy and Diane. You're already a man. Your forehead mustache proves that. Captain, that girl is the devil. Now will you stop that nonsense, Gordon? Fix the helm of the propeller and hurry it up. And you better take lunch early because you're undoubtedly next to die. These two have about a foot and a half of eyebrow combined. <laughs> well, you gotta give them props for swimming down there. <laughs> well, oh, Mike, let go of my tongue. No more puns. No more puns. Okay. Why did we hear the communication of Flight 57? Why did we hear our own communication? Why did we have a Mexican guy named Gordon? We can't just stand here and not do anything. We've got to attempt everything. Everything? You mean like macrame or snake handling? They're going to take all of us. And you're next. And you're next, Aunt Sybil. Okay, honey. (laughs) Oh, they're so cute at that age. Well, creepy demon child tell me I'm the next to die. May as well have a cup of tea, then throw myself into the deep briny. Tony, have you seen my wife? I feel like doing it for the third time today. Oh yeah, Uh, behind the scenes people. at the stern, having a cup of coffee on the upper deck. I remember distinctly because I was dressed like one of the village people. 
See, I had on this kicky little belt and totally butch muscle shirt, and I remember that I was super tan. It's useless. I'm afraid my wife met the same fate as the others. She was killed by magnets in the Bermuda Triangle that caused an evil doll to possess a girl. Look, I'm unclear on what we've seen here today, okay? My sister is dead. Said with the same tone you might use to say, after one more pair of socks, I'm gonna have to do a load of laundry. Well, we may as well see if we can get her up on water skis like in Weekend at Bernie's. Alan did not speak until two days later when he berated a Wendy's employee for refusing to serve him a quadruple cheeseburger. You've got the patties, you got the cheese, just put them together! Alan, my dead not sister! Not damn it, just put them together and charge me for two doubles! You're saving on buns! This is Captain Mark Briggs of the Black Whale of Third. That guy must be wrong. Or you didn't understand the message. Either way, it's not my fault, so lay off. Black Whale III disappeared with its entire crew and a family named Marvin about 12 years ago, my friend. Wait, wait, wait. Does it say the my friend part? And, and who are you looking at? 